children today we are going to start with the topic chapter 3 word processor tabular presentation now open your computer book at page number 26 previously we have discussed the pages 24 and 25 where we have covered the topics introduction to table creating a table using table grid using table using insert table using draw table using quick tables and also we have discussed the topic converting text to a table now we are going to discuss the topics from the page number 26 where we will learn how to enter the data in the table how to select a cell a row a column table using mouse and how to select the text inside a single cell before going to start the chapter let's let's discuss few shortcut keys from the page 26 Here we will use the tab key. Here we all know the tab key is used to give the certain spaces in the document. And if we want to move in the table, then we have to press the tab key to go to the next adjoining cell. And if we will press the shift key plus tab key, then we will move to the previous cell. To move to the above cell of the current cell, we have to press the up arrow key. And if we want to move to the cells below the current cell, then we have to press the down arrow key from the keyboard. If we want to select the sentence in a table or a cell then we have to click on control key plus left mouse click Now look at your book at page number 26 where the first topic is given entering data Here we will learn how to enter data in the table First of all to insert the data in the table we have to place the insertion point or a cursor in our cell of the table then we have to start the typing from the keyboard Next we are using the keys to move the to move into the cells of the table that we have discussed earlier and it will show sh I will show you it now by the practical Now first of all open MS Word click on start button from start sub menu click on Microsoft Word 2010 After clicking on 2010 window the window will appear on your screen now we have to insert a table click on insert tab click on table button move the pointer over the grid you can see the table has been inserted now drag your tables resize handle to see the table in the big size on your document Now first of all I'm going to discuss it how to enter data in the table. First of all place the cursor in the cell where you want to insert the data. Now type the data from your keyboard. If you want to move to the next cell then we have to press the tab key from the keyboard and you can see the cursor have been shifted to the next cell. Then again press the tab key and type the next data to come down to the next cell press the down arrow key from the keyboard here you can see the change from the screen if you want to shift to the left side of the cells then you can press the shift plus tab key or you can also press the left arrow key from the keyboard now here you can type the data using the left arrow keys i have selected the left cells and again i am typing the next cell next data in the cells now you can see the topic from your page 26 the next topic is there select a cell a row a column table using the mouse here you can see this chart where we can select a cell using triple click in the cell we can select the row using move the mouse pointer over the left margin of the row and then click on the mouse then we can also select the column to select the column we have to place the mouse pointer over the top of column and then we have to press the mouse button and to select the entire table we have to double click on the table move handle let's see it practically now now you can see if we you if you want to select the cell place the cursor anywhere in the cell and Three times press from your left mouse button, and you will see the table cell will be selected. See 
while clicking the three times from the mouse the cell has been selected now if you want to select the row place the cursor at the edge of the row then press the mouse mouse button left mouse button and you will see the whole row has been selected in the same way if you want to select the entire column place the cursor over the column and then left press the left click from the mouse and you will see the whole column has been selected and if we want to select the entire table then here you can see on the top right corner the plus sign of the table the plus sign of the table clicking on this plus sign you will select the entire table you can see the change from here now look at your book the tip is given where it is written that if you want to select the different parts of your table you can choose that option using the select button that would be present under table tools or layout tab here you can see if we will select the table two tabs will appear on your microsoft word window under the table tool option that is design tab or layout tab under the layout tab there is a select button under select button you will take the, uh, you will get the option select cell select column select row select table first of all place any place the cursor anywhere in the cell go to the select button then click on the select cell option and you will see the whole cell has been selected if you want to select the entire column just place the cursor anywhere in the cell and click on the select button then click on the select column option you will see the entire column has been selected in the same way place the cursor anywhere in the cell go to select button again and click on the select row option you will see the entire row has been selected in the same way if we want to select the entire table place the cursor anywhere in the table and then you have to select the option from the select button select table option after clicking on the select table option you will see the entire table has been selected now now look at the second chart where the topic is given selecting the text inside a single cell we can select the text inside the single cell using different mouse actions if we want to select a word we have to double click on the word if we want to select the sentence we have to hold down the control key and click anywhere in the sentence if we want to select the block of text block of text means we want to select the multiple text then we have to drag the mouse over the text and if we want to select the paragraph we have to triple click on the paragraph in the cell now here we can see it practically now here we will again insert a table using insert tab click on table button move the pointer over the grid i have inserted here two rows and two columns now drag the table down to show it clearly now here i will type the line now i have typed the text here in the cell you can make the text bigger so that you can see it clearly now you can see i have typed here two lines first of all if we want to select the word we have to double click on that word for example i am selecting here processor i have double click click on the word uh, word processor and the processor word has been selected if we want to select the sentence then we have to place the cursor before the line and hold down the control key go at the end of the line and you can see the line has been selected the next is thing we have to select the block of text block of text means we have to select the multiple text in the document if we have to select the all text or the multiple text we have to move the 
mouse over the text place the insertion point before the text now drag the mouse over text wherever you want to select the text as per your choice the last thing we have to select the paragraph first of all we have to make it in the paragraph so here we have made the three pa three paragraphs now if i want to select the paragraph i will place the cursor over the paragraph and i will press the mouse button three times to select it you can see only the middle between paragraph have been selected after pressing the mouse button thrice so till now we have discussed shortcut keys to select the different parts of table and also we have discussed the mouse action to select the text inside a single cell